Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and I'm here with Chin Laden in a Brandenburg Bismarck B combination in division on two brothers. And will people please stop doing this dumb and I'll leave that word to your imaginations, because you will just get punished by people who know that it's going to happen and you will wreck any chance of a win for your team. Now, I can't remember why, but in this game, um, I was a little bit slow to get started. I may have been finishing making a cup of tea. Um, I may have been taking a bathroom break. But Chin tells me that there are two destroyers and a Bismarck in division. And that is key because all those three ships are going to be together. None of our destroyers are in division. And so all we've got to do is keep an eye out for what's going to happen and what's going to get spotted. So Chin and I are probably, we're not clairvoyant, but it is isn't hard to figure out as this game develops exactly what is going to happen and we are ready for it we are sat waiting with like the trap wide open ready for somebody to step into it and for it to spring shut we see the brandenburg off to the right flank um, chin calls the ships on the left flank and there we go shiratsuyu shiratsuyu and bismarck so are they thinking they're going to be able to charge through and launch a load of torpedoes and have the bismarck finish any destroyers with its secondaries i don't know that Zuya out there is going to get MVP for Red Team. And uh, frankly, I feel sorry for him being part of this Red Team because he does play very well. Um, but Chin and I are here. We are literally sat waiting for something to come around that corner. Neither of those destroyers have been spotted out on the flanks. The Bismarck has not been spotted either. So we are expecting at least a three ship push through the center and here they come not one but both destroyers for red team and there is without a shadow of a doubt the bismarck is going to be coming around behind them so we get those to spunk their torpedoes in our direction um chin's secondaries finish off that first destroyer here come the torpedoes i'm turning away i'm going to um just keep moving we see secondary fire coming out of there as well. So that is the Bismarck coming through. And we just keep moving until we drop detection here. There we go. So the rest of our team know that one destroyer is dead. The other destroyer is stuck in the middle of the map. They have pretty much nothing to be scared of about being hunted by a Shiratsuyu. Was it a Shiratsuyu and a Hatsuharu? I can't remember. Or was it two Shiratsuyus? But there we go. The Bismarck has got me spotted. So yeah, I'm going to be in secondary range. But here comes the little DD that spawned with us. Bismarck is running in sonar. And I think at this moment in time, he is panicking, realizing that he has got himself stuck right up the chuff of two brothers and there is no way that he is getting out of this his little destroyer buddy has no room to maneuver at all we have got secondaries going i actually don't mind giving up a bit of broadside here because bismarck is getting trolleyed those tops from the dd are running nicely my tops are going through there as well and uh, we've got a bit of a cluster here look we've um, all kind of run into each other but the DD decides that he's going to fire his gun and try to get a fire on me because I have obviously uh, damage controlled. But here comes the next set of torpedoes. And I'm worried that our DD is going to get slapped. But we do notice that even though Blue Team had no worries about pushing against things, that Zeton is pushing in as well. Is it Zeton or Zeton? Zeton, Zeton? No, it's a Zeton. Z-I-E. I remember my German friend telling me Z-I-E is Z and Z-E-I is Zai. So that is a Zeton. But we get a fire on him because we only got um, 
HE loaded. Wish I'd have kept Mariam. Shot style because that Bismarck is nearly done and we're just going to like chip them off. The Shiratsuyu is nearly dead as well. But um, this little destroyer on our side is actually going to get himself a double strike before I even have a chance really to pull the trigger. He gets a liquidator on the uh, Bismarck. He gets the double strike gunning down the destroyer. So there we have it. Um, red team are five ships down in less than five minutes but we have lost four we get the nelson spotted there is a cruiser across there i think it's an indianapolis not quite sure but we'll find out when we get turned around chin realizes he's going to take a load of tops off the zetan and rather than sail across towards the suzuya which is an inherent fire starter we decide that we will turn into the nelson and the cruiser and take care of those first now, our hipper here, way out there on the side of the map, on the right-hand side, um, he did push forward, but as he has been pushed, he has um, turned and kited, and he does a very good job of kiting and picks up that Nelson. No, he didn't. I got the Nelson. I think it's this Azure Lane, that um, cruiser that he picks up. I can't remember. Man, these games are so confusing at times when there's so much going on around you. Chin and I have barely moved from the centre of the map. There we go. It's an Azure Lane Baltimore. Cruiser, broadside, AP loaded. Guess what this guy is getting? Shots. Flying through the air. And... Bump. There is a Citadel. He's just lost 60% of his health in one salvo. And decides that he doesn't want to be part of it anymore. But RNG deserts me and uh, i don't hit anything with the second set of two turrets but he is on fire he's backing up there's not a lot he can do we know that he's the only ship out there so chin and i are shortly gonna turn and go back in the other direction baltimore is yeah i think he's got a french engine in that it seems to be going backwards so quickly but um i hope it was money well spent because there's nothing more pleasurable than taking out a premium ship that somebody has whaled a crap ton of money on. Um, it's one of the reasons I don't whale on a lot of premium ships, because I get so sad when they get sunk. But here we go, swinging round. We have the Suzuya and uh, we have that Colorado out there. It is five ships, plays two. Um, you'd think one of our destroyers might have just run up and taken the cap and sealed the deal early on. But uh, no, they want to hang around and try and torpedo things. And it's not going to work out well for one of them. But perhaps not who you expect. This Azuya is pretty much full elf. He is very, very agile. And I am literally going to be firing shots at this guy. And praying for a hit, because for whatever reason, I just can't land anything on him. But we're going to stay focused on the Suzuya, and we are going to allow our secondaries to take care of the Colorado, knowing that our destroyer is running on him as well. So we are perfectly placed to pick up the last couple of ships of this team. That Suzuki is not going to be a good easy. I tried to JG him afterwards because he did play a very good game. But um, yeah, he had his messages blocked. The Hibber is still sailing the long way around on the map, even though there's nothing down there. And he's actually, he does call us to like focus a target. And I'm like, you're further away than us. You can't actually hit anything. Why are you telling us to shoot and stuff? We are there. We're in the action. Colorado goes down to the destroyer with a torpedo but then again there was no way he was getting out of that because bismarck and brandenburg with secondaries i've got torpedoes um we could have split left and right of him and he wouldn't know which way to point his guns mr suzuya realizes that the game is pretty much up but he isn't done fighting yet now we're only on 87,000 damage. It's by no means a high score. Um, but we're going to finish with a couple of medals. Um, I think three. And I'm going to earn one 
in probably the cheesiest way possible by just playing the game mechanics to my advantage and give me a medal that I don't get very often. It's not a Kraken. I can't get a Kraken. I've only got one kill and there's only one ship in the game. So it's not a Kraken. But here we go. We are going full chat. Here come the torpedoes. And I'm thinking, yeah, he's missed me with those. And I'm thinking, oh, no, right. Can I squeeze through between these? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yep, we're through the middle of those. We are spotted by the cruiser, which means that, um, you know, I'm just on the edge of detection there. But here comes another set of torpedoes. And I think he's banking on me turning to put my guns on them. Um, which I would as well. And in doing that, I put myself in the way of his torpedoes. There's one. We avoid the second. We're on fire. We're flooding for a minute and a half. And we're going to try and keep shooting at this, guys. But we're not actually going to damage Con. Because I've got a crap a ton of hit points left. I've got Chin beside me for will to rebuild. And there's my first medal of the game. A confederate. But I've hardly done anything, as far as I can see. The trick is, those two destroyers that we hit, and the Bismarck, with the fire damage and, and knocking them off, you only need six ships, 20% of the hit points. So hitting those two destroyers at the start was easy money. Easy money towards a confederate. So there we go. I'm only halfway through my flood. My fire's nearly burned out. Um, this Suzuya must be thinking, I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to get this guy. But uh, no, you're not, mate. You're not. You're absolutely not. 30 seconds left on the flood. It's still ticking. I'm ill, will range. Um, so although my hit points are going to continue to drop, they're going to get to a level where will to rebuild is going to maintain them. And I think it's around the 11,500 mark there. It drops briefly below 10 and then uh, pops back up again. But that flood has slowed me down and Chin is on a charge because he wants to stay in secondary range of this Suzuya. And um, I'm now playing catch up because I'm out of will range at the moment. And uh, I'm now thinking, well, if he gets a double fire on me, I could potentially be a little bit farked. That's farked, F-A-R-K-A-D, not the swear word, which I use um, more often in my live streams when um, I'm having a really bad time. So Zui's running. He's being chased by three ships. He's outside of my secondary range. Um, the hipper is still following us round like a little lapdog when he could have gone up the middle to the cap. But for whatever reason, no, he's just going to keep following us around like a lapdog. So I hit my second heal. That's going to boost up my hit points a little bit further. Um, what is it? 582 players, 294. That guy needs to get into torpedo range to have any hope of getting um, rid of me or Chin. But in doing so, he's going to put himself in the way of a lot of guns because our destroyer is keeping him spotted. And in his turn... He misses my shots again. As I said, that guy couldn't hit that guy for toffee. Literally could not hit that guy for toffee in what, probably five or six salvos. But he's run himself into the white line. We've broken 100k damage. He momentarily drops detection. I know his engine power shut. I just put two turrets over and I'm thinking I'm going to have to fire again. And no. There we go. Citadel, game over. And if we have a look at the end stats there, you'll see that I picked up an unsinkable medal, as well as my Dreadnought. So I basically gamed the system with that flood, knowing I probably wouldn't be killed, to pick up that unsinkable medal as well. But the Confederate shows that it was hard for battle. It's not a massive base XP game. Chin and I get one and two with um, six medals between us and four kills. The Shiratsu use and the Bismarck, um, they barely break a thousand base XP between the three of them. Um, so that was a absolute shambles. But I've hoped you've liked watching how two brothers shouldn't be done and um, how you can read the map to work out 
what people are going to do. If you've enjoyed that one, stick around, click a link, watch one of these videos. And uh, if you haven't done already, please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Until next time, goodbye.